But right in front of the garage are all of our indoor outdoor grills from George Foreman. And the and Sean, help me if I'm counting correctly. Is this the third one day only? This is the fourth. This is the fourth and final one day only. There were so many I lost track. <laughs> All right, so what we're talking about is that ever popular and often requested George Foreman 15 serving indoor outdoor electric grill. Do you live in a place where you're not allowed to have charcoal or gas? Electric grill though is permissible, then this is your grill. Use it either on the stand as you see here or it releases from that stand and we'll work on a tabletop. Here's a great story. We are only able to offer this price until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever comes first. There is no reorder on this grill and I have one color for you, black. Okay, so that makes it easy. You're also going to love that we've got it at a super price. Retail price on this is I believe $98, is that what that said? We're about $28 less, right? And then we're going to do it for you on that one day only price, which is only good until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever comes first. And we also can't do it at this low price again for a minimum of six months. And you know, by that time, summer has come and gone, hard to believe. We'd be into the fall by that point, wouldn't we? Early fall. So this is your opportunity to get it now. Get it on the easy pay. This is five easy payments of only $14 each. 15 servings, this is big enough, to cook 15 servings for guests at your dinner table. Let's welcome Dawn Madgett. In fact, Dawn, I'll come around your side. Thank you. And we've got Hi, it all everybody. set up as a tabletop grill. Yes, we do. And Dawn, you've been our George uh, George Foreman representative for how long? Oh, way over 10 years. Way over 10 yeah, years. I was, just, I was just gonna say lots of good cooking yes. and knocking out the fat, mm -hmm. right? But look at this. If you're cooking uh, dogs for the whole Little League team, or you're doing hamburgers and hot dogs for the whole family okay. reunion, you can get everybody covered on this grill. You can. You know what? This grill does everything and it does it really, really well. This time of year, I probably use it on my countertop on my center island probably about 50% of the time. The rest of the time, I'm grilling in my garage, David. So you laugh about us being in front of the garage. This time of year, I am able to grill delicious food for my family. No hot dog tastes as good as a grilled hot dog. And we can have them year round because of the George Foreman. Look at how beautiful these hamburgers are. We grilled the onions, we grilled the bacon, then we put them on top of these burgers and then added the cheese. But look at the big surface, 240 square inches. Mm. Now these were Chuck burgers. Chuck burgers are a combination of 80% beef and 20% fat. You can knock out about 42% of that fat by using your George Foreman because it has these deep grooves right here, right. which means your food isn't sitting in those grooves. And that's really a nice thing. The now, other thing that's really great is the fat drips into these holes right here. And that's what makes it special. You'll also want to remember that this price only good until end of day today. We have just the one color to choose from. A very special buy when it comes to this indoor outdoor mm -hmm. grill. We presented this for years, but to see it at this low a price and with the easy pay and being able to do this where you can have indoor outdoor grilling. Gone will be the days where you have to schedule your, your outdoor barbecues around the weather report, right? Exactly. Or stress the whole day when you're having a barbecue in the afternoon as the weather or not rain is going to force you inside. And when it does, you're cooking all those burgers in a skillet on top of the stove. Now, with this grill, you just bring it in from outside or move it into the carport, wherever you want to cook with it, because it's not going to be a problem creating smoke and mess and deploying all your smoke detectors, right? Exactly. Because this is going to allow all those fats and oils to drain away. Now, the big rub on electric grills is can I get a good sear? Will mm -hmm. I get grill marks when I've got this temperature probe all the way up on high? Now, we're putting gorgeous strip steaks on here. Yes, we are. And I will tell you also, if you want really great results, let that meat come closer to room temperature before you put it on there. You take it right out of the refrigerator and pop it on your grill, you're going to cool the grill down. You are. So if you, Ray Rastelli tells us this all the time, yes. let your beef come to almost mm -hmm. room temperature before you grill exactly. it. Exactly. And then you're going to get a much nicer sear. And look at this, eight large steaks. L look at how fun this is. If you're entertaining or having a dinner party, put this on your island and you are getting beautifully barbecued grilled steaks in January, in February, in March. Perfect. Love, love, love that. And I want to show you really quick, David, because one of the things about these grills is people get scared. Is it going to be heavy? Is it going to be hard to handle? Can I show you really quickly how to assemble this? It's very few pieces. These feet, literally four feet, snap into this round base. They click in. Then we have one, two poles that we just screw together. And literally, you just sit your grill on top right here. It sits on top. And see this 
snap it in place. That's keeping the grill attached to the base. Right. If you want to take the grill off and put it on your countertop, you just simply push this down and carry it on in. But literally, I can take this anywhere I want. It doesn't weigh that much. Assembly, it's longer to take it out of the box, I always say, than assemble it. The big assembly is putting these two screws into the handle. But look at this great surface. You have this drip tray that's collecting all your fats and oils. They drip down in these two holes here, and you have this deep George Tough finish. What that means is it's double coated. Nothing sticks to this. Cleans up like a charm. Now, a lot of folks wonder, can they use a metal utensil on this? Um, we don't recommend it because we don't really want to hurt the surface. But if you're careful with it, like you saw me put those stakes on, I'm very careful not to scratch well, that surface. And chances are, you're not going to hurt the surface, but you, you will scratch it. Right. And, you and if you scratch it, it just won't look as pretty. Right. right. It just doesn't, you know, so we don't recommend it. But here is what I want to show you, too. We have a temperature probe. So we have controlled cooking. It goes from one to five. And what I love about this is I can turn everything up really, really high and really hot. And by doing that, what happens is I get that sear on the bottom and then I turn it way down and I get the internal temperature cooked. But you can see, I'm going to make bread now, man. This one is starting to get some grill marks. Right, it's not quite now, as melty on top as you probably would want it to be. But, but see how it's just starting? That's that dome lid. That exactly, like because oven. the dome lid creates that oven type atmosphere. Mm -hmm. 500 of these are now gone. This price only good until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever comes first. You should be aware this is five easy payments and we have one color offering. We have it in black. This was a special buy from George Foreman. We're able to bring it in at a really super low price. Normal QVC price on this is $85, right? Or excuse me, I beg your pardon, retail is $98. So you're looking at uh, a tremendous amount less. You're also going to love that you've got, you've got five easy payments, and there's very minimal assembly on this. When you put this uh, when you put this together at home, use it either on the pedestal or put it right on your tabletop. Right. And these are getting popular, and lots of folks are buying theirs now. How about doing two whole chickens on here? These That's pretty amazing. You know these are our favorite, David, these chickens. They are so, so delicious. I do this. Can I help with this? Yes, please. I think I'm going to need a second a set of A double tongue here? Yeah. All right. These so you can get him before he falls off. Oh, there we go. All right. So he's already fallen apart. We'll His little behind almost together. fell off. There we go. But this chicken is moist. It's delicious. That dome lid means we were able to bake it. We're able to sear oh, it. Oh, wow. Look, look at how beautiful that look, chicken breast is. The breast just came right out of it. Uh, oh my. That's wild. Thank you so much, David. Look how beautifully that cooked. It cooks. You can now, see you this Now, you know what meat. this is? That's dinner for a crowd. Hello. Everyone have your, your favorite part of the chicken, right? Why not? This is really phenomenal. And you're going to love five easy payments on your credit card. How many gone now? Over 600 of these are gone. Clean up, Dawn, is a snap. And that's what I want to show you. You know this, how you get that sugar and that fat on the chicken and you clean your roasting pans? Look at how easy this is to clean. Wow. Look at how wonderful this is. It is just perfectly cleaned. And I can put anything on here. When you have a traditional gas grill, um, charcoal grill, you can't get your plates this clean. I recommend that you unplug it, you let it get a little bit cool but still warm, and then clean it up. Exactly. Making sure you always protect your hand in that process. Of but look course. at these pork loins. Oh, these we're going to pop on two great big full size pork loins. Then we're going to clap this lid on here. Not only does that create an oven type atmosphere inside, we're helping to cook the, the meat through, but it also gives it a great sear. A great sear. And that's what holds in all the flavor because pork's a lot more lean than it used to be. So we want to sear story. in all those flavors. And, and we take a look here at a great big beautiful <laughs> roast with potatoes and rush, uh, I was going to say mushrooms. That would be mushrooms. All right. Don't miss out on this beautiful. opportunity. Uh, how many are gone now, Sean? Look at these. Over 800 mushrooms. of these are gone. Look at those grilled portobellos. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, these are perfectly grilled. So if you have some vegetarians coming over and you're making a roast, you can do everything on here. Potatoes are buttery and tender. I love that potato idea. I do, and I love the fact that I can do everything on this. Sometimes I just do my potatoes on it. I literally have an extra burner in my kitchen, an extra oven, roasted vegetables this time of year. I know a lot of you are eating healthier and different. You can fill this up with vegetables and have such wonderful results. And again, the cleanup is a breeze. And look at this, all coming together. Now, I'm going to come back and check on your steaks because I'm going to guess before Please. long we're going to be ready to turn these. Or did they get turned already? Someone turned them. Are they, are they? Oh, no, no, they're coming along fine. 
Okay, are they, have they started to brown yet? Starting to get some grill marks here, which is Good. great. We'll Thank let those you. just cook a, a bit longer. Okay, perfect. Oh. All right, now we're gonna put some shrimp on. This is a beautiful thing on the countertop to just do up some shrimp. Very interactive. I use this a lot like when we watch football games on Sundays. Mm. And it's so nice because I love to make Rubens and I make open face because of the dome lid. I get that melted cheese. Great. We put the shrimp on there. Do all kinds of things. When we do taco night, I grill everything off and then I'm able to warm the shells. Oh, and that's And the so wrappers nice. yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just makes fun interactive cooking, especially around an island or the center of your kitchen. So all this coming together for you at a really phenomenal one day only price. And now over 1,000 of these are yeah. spoken for. Everybody's loving their George Foreman experience, indoors or outdoors, 15 servings, one color to choose from, just the black. And we've got it on five easy payments of $14 each. This same pack up would be, I believe, at retail over $98. So you're looking at a tremendous amount less. You're also loving the variety with which you can cook. I mean, check this out. We've got two coiled sausages we do. and some grilled peppers. Ah, oh, we got a jumper. Lana, we did have a jumper. These little peppers, by the way, if you see them in the stores, pick them up and put them on your grill. They're amazingly delicious. Love the fact that this is my go-to meal stretcher because how many times are we making a meal and we find additional people are coming to eat with us? This is perfect for that because yeah, somehow when the grill gets fired up, uh, the people at the table multiply. Mm -hmm. They do, mm -hmm. and that we're, you know what? And I'm always glad the more the merrier. But we need to have a lot of food for that. Excuse me, I'm and sneeze. the leftovers are great. Yeah, will you? God bless you. I'm good. I think I just got pepper up my nose. Oh, that could be. <laughs> hey, you should check on those steaks for us. Okay, let me go back over here. Thank you. I'll be right Twelve over. Twelve hundred of these are now gone. No reorder on this. Now is the time for you to pick these up. Let's see how our steaks are doing here. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say you couldn't get a good sear on an electric grill? What, what's that you say? Oh, you're pleasantly surprised? I think you're right. Look at this. Look at these. Gorgeous. Coming along very nicely. That one needs to go a little longer. Yep. All coming along. Gorgeous, starting to get some great grill marks. Don't miss out on this opportunity ever. Now, obviously, if you're cooking this many steaks at one time, well, you got a lot of people who are hungry. Um, but you're going to love that you've got room to cook this many or just a couple. That's the beauty of this machine. It is. You can cook for one or you can cook for 15. Or in my case, I like to cook for leftovers. I think they're really nice. But here we have eight big boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now, recently, because everybody's been eating healthier, we've been making lunches for my husband and son every day. Mm -hmm can't have enough grilled chicken. Six ounces of grilled chicken ends up being a lot of chicken when you're packing lunches. So I'm telling you, you'll love this for the capacity, especially if you're eating healthier. But look, we still have lots of room. The chicken isn't overcrowded and it's going to brown beautifully. Ooh, look at this. Oh, here's my other favorite. Chicken now, thighs. Never, ever enjoyed chicken thighs until I got my Foreman grill. <laughs> These are boneless and skinless. And I am telling you, they're like butter. Um, I posted a picture of this on my Facebook page, and you might, I hope you don't count because I've already eaten two of them. Oh, is that right? <laughs> they were the perfect lunch. These are so delicious. Can you see how crispy they got, David? So you get that wonderful internal and they're all temperature. Boneless. All boneless, all skinless. How clever. And if you put this on like a, a sheet tray and put this in your oven, that sheet tray would be a pain to clean and it would be difficult. Or if you put it in a frying pan, you would have had to add fats and grease. We did not have to do any of that. Ooh. And the cleanup is a breeze. Oh, and I've got ribs over oh, here, too. Oh, yes, you do. 1,500 of these are gone now. I'm going to paint these ribs up right quick. Now, those ribs, I do those all summer long, and I'm able to cook them low and slow. I don't have to turn the oven on and heat up my house. I put it on the back deck, and I put it down. I get them nice and high. I sear them, get rid of the fat. And then what I do is I simply let them cook all day. And when we get close to the end, David, what do we do? We slather on the we sauce. We slather it. Clap the lid back on and let this sauce caramelize. And it'll be beautiful. Miss Dawn, we're going to take you from grilling to bread making. Oh, my gosh. You're coming back later with the bread men. I hope, yes. Looking forward to that. In the meantime, Some we're really going to check bread. in with Stacy. She's okay. going to start this next presentation. And I'm going to join her. I believe is what's happening, yes. And <laughs> oh. we'll see you back in a little while. Oh, yeah. right. Thank but before you. I start that presentation, can I just serve, serve you a warm slice of peanut butter cup and jelly bread that I wow. 